2020 was a rough year. With the pandemic, protests, and attack on nature, the year will be a stain in most of our lives as long as we live. But everything has an end and life goes on no matter what. So as we usher in 2021, what could be on the horizon as we await what will unfold? Anyways, here is the possible 2021 of Africa. Like, subscribe, and share please to help us. Thanks and enjoy. First off, as people around the world debate the use of the COVID-19 vaccination, it is likely predicted that the widespread vaccinations will arrive in Africa mid-2021, mainly because of the poor access to the vaccines. Though it will be later than the rest of the world, it brings a sense of hope that our social lives will return. But before the vaccinations come in, there will be elections happening all over Africa, spanning from January all the way till December, with eyes on the Zambian and Gambian elections, and some postponed elections from 2020, like the Ethiopian elections. There are other countries with elections like Libya, Uganda, and Cape Verde. Even though some elections will have unsurprising outcomes, the world will surely be observing. Speaking of observing, Akon City, one of the most ambitious projects in the history of Africa, will continue to march towards fruition. This real-life Wakanda had the first stone laid on its proposed sites in September and is undergoing Phase 1, which consists of roads, residential and municipal buildings. Upon completion, the tourist city will be a place for people inquisitive about Africa to visit. Thanks, Akon. Social media continues to ingrain itself into the African culture as it is replacing real news and in many ways traditional television. With millions of the youth connecting through social media, expect Instagram or TikTok sensations to arise in 2021. As Africans love challenges, be warned that your Instagram feed will be filled with pitch-perfect or cringe-worthy attempts at being part of many challenges. I mean, we are still in the slow motion challenge era. On the relationships between countries, Africa will see how well its countries can be trading bodies. The largest free trade area in the world opened in January and consists of most of the African countries being involved in trading, which will remove most of the tariffs accrued and promote countries trading with each other, boosting wealth, business and bolstering a united Africa. It is a mystery that Africa trades with the world but rarely within itself, but now businesses can be done much easily across borders. President Trump left quite a sour taste in the mouth of Africans, from trying to cause a fight between Egypt and Ethiopia to blocking African countries from migrating to America, Trump made more enemies than friends. So with Joe Biden taking the leadership role of America, how will he relate to Africa? Joe Biden's aim to invest in renewable energy could be a problem for the exportation of oil, but with Biden looking to rejoin the World Health Organization, it would strengthen relationships with Africa. Some countries to watch closely would be Ghana for its economic growth, Nigeria with its promise to diversify, South Africa to see how it bounces back from being the most ravaged by COVID-19, Libya looks to continue its ceasefire, while Kenya continues to deal with the locust invasion. So how will China's involvement with Africa fare in 2021? Who will have the song of the year? Will Strive Masiwa influence Netflix? Which country will be the first to qualify for next year's FIFA World Cup? Will the Sahel improve in 2021? Will cryptocurrency continue to surge in Africa? Will Egypt blow up the dam? Well, we will just have to wait and see as the year rolls on. Buckle your seatbelts, everyone. It may be a bumpy or joyous ride. Thanks for watching. Will we see you in the next one?